Welcome back to another lesson and let's get started right away again. In this lesson we're going to be looking at fractions and ordering them from least to greatest. And these fractions don't have the same denominator so we got to find a way of comparing them. And so we're going to deal with something called unit fractions. And a unit fraction is a fraction with a numerator of one. And so one half, one tenth, or one whole are all unit fractions. So no matter what is in the denominator, is if the numerator is 1, so 1 20th, that's a unit fraction. Um, the 1 is in the numerator spot. And with different fraction, unit fractions, the equal parts of the whole have different sizes. And so I have a, a couple here. So this one is 1 10th, and this one, there's 10 equal parts in the whole, and this one here is 1 quarter or 1 fourth, and there's 4 equal parts in the whole. You can see they're about the same length but the size of the pieces are different. And so we can say that tenths are smaller than fourths because of the size of the pieces. So in other words, the more equal parts there are, and there's 10 equal parts in one tenth, the smaller the parts are. So funny enough, the, the larger the digit in the denominator, the smaller it possibly is. All right, let's look at ordering these unit fractions from least to greatest, one eighth, one third and one quarter. And so one eighth is the least because eighths are smaller than thirds and fourths and quarters are the same thing. Remember I just said the larger the digit in the denominator, the smaller it is. So this eight here is the largest digit out of the three and the four. So this guy is the smaller fraction. And then in other words, the lower the digit, in the denominator being three, the larger the fraction is. So you can see here, there is one is the eighths. This is one eighth. This is one third and one quarter. And so you can see the, the different pieces size, um, same length of bar, but the piece size piece sizes are different and so therefore the fractions are, we can say, are least to greatest. I'm going to get you to try this one. I'd like you to order these unit fractions from least to greatest. One half, one twelfth, and one eighth. Do it any way you'd like. Come back when you're ready. Alright, right off the bat here, um, the lowest fraction is going to be one twelfth. That is the going to have the most pieces involved there and so this whatever it is is divided up into 12 pieces followed by 1 8 followed by 1 half so even though that 1 half has that only that 2 in the denominator it is the larger fraction and so let's maybe quickly look at 1 quarter 1 eighth and 1 half and I love pizza so I'm going to divide three make three equal pizzas here and they all get delivered to my door and this one was divided into quarters this one was divided in halves this one was divided into eights and you can see if i ate one of these each you can definitely see that one half of the pizza is larger than one eighth or one quarter so from least to greatest on this pizza example one eighth one quarter and one half and that is it so just looking at unit fractions looking at the denominator and knowing how many pieces it's been divided into can tell us whether it is a, a big piece or a small piece thanks guys and remember in life math happens take care